Alright, hello. This is gonna be a little unscripted uh, recap of uh, uh, my chunk picker and the uh, 500 total rule. So last episode I got 500 total level. I'm on a free to play world right now because this account isn't bonded up and uh, yeah, bonds are really expensive right now. Anyway, um, with the inventory, I don't have much to show here. Well, I have arrows, a lot of them, runes. And the gear I have here, the, like, there's nothing special here, really. It's just, you know, the classic... Actually, I don't know if it's the classic Ultimate Iron Man. Uh, yeah, wh wh whatever. Anyway, um, I think here, there's nothing that special here. But, let's get on to the actual interesting part. We're at the chunk picker now, and uh, I'll briefly go over through the chunks I've unlocked. And then I'll explain what I have planned for 500 total level to make this uh, more interesting. So, I have a lot of chunks where there's literally nothing. So, for example, wait, let me just do this. This unmarked grave, I got this last episode. There was nothing here. Um, North Mount Curl, exactly the same. Four giant bats, and that's literally all there is to it. There's a medium clue step here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, there isn't. I think, I'm pretty sure there is. But, yeah. Then this... Uh, one chunk in Volumor Pyramid. Um, I'm pretty sure this pyramid will eventually have content. Same with this cave here in uh, Colosseum South Shore. So, depending on that, that might be really cool. Because I'm pretty sure there will be more coming. So, yeah. Uh, then we get to Isle of Souls with th three corners. It's I don't know how this keeps happening. If anything, I really, really want this chunk here so I can get a bird snare. Cause I'm, like right here, there's a bird snare drop. And I need it to do Hunter. And this little red base thing here. With actually a fly fishing rod spawn, I'm pretty sure. And a plank spawn. So, this might be really useful. And then we get to Feldip Hills with uh, West Feldip Hills. That was one of the first chunks I unlocked. The reason why I unlocked it was that, yeah, there was really not much here. Other than, you know, some quest stuff and ogres that don't really drop anything special. Then this, North France Peninsula. <laughs> yeah, not, not much to say about that. And possibly my favorite chunk that I've unlocked so far is the Ardoin farm. I'm really surprised I was able to unlock this chunk because, uh, yeah, I mean, I can do stuff there so when i get a chunk that's like r adjacent to it i can also like get these crops over here which is nice because uh farming might be difficult let me, let me log off runescape i don't need this anymore um west stronghold passage is um nothing 76 dead trees that's how dead this chunk is <laughs> all right Moving on to Sinclair Lake with the Max Cave thing here and no other way to ever access this chunk, so doesn't like I either reroll it or I unlock it, so it doesn't make a big difference. Uh huh. Karamja River with this legendary lock that got me to level six agility. Surprisingly haven't gotten Karamja recently. But yeah, see, there are a lot of um, blacklisted chunks here, mainly because they are chunk, I mean, quest locked. And I'm hoping that to change soon, because uh, I really hope I can unlock Mauritania soon enough, because that would be interesting. But yeah, moving on, uh, let's go to Varok. So I have Varok Palace. That's actually the chunk I finished. So I mean, <laughs> do that actually. <laughs> and then... Um, this south gate that I unlocked as the first chunk to kind of get this thing going, it's been a really good chunk. Because like, I've got an exam center, I've got in this chunk, and every time there's something nice to do here. So that's usually where I've gone. And yeah, I guess that really shows kind of the idea behind this account. That if, uh, you know, the exam center didn't have much just, you know, 
willow trees here. Couldn't unlock it because of it. But since I could just run here, get oak logs here and do some theming with the guards, then that was really chill. And this chunk, East Arc Mine, again, if I can mine, it's going to be really useful. What I'm really hoping for is to get the Varrock Square, because there's an anvil here. And I'm collecting nature runes now, so there's a really good possibility that when I get superheat, I can superheat bronze bars to finally start with smithing. Which sounds like complete insanity, but if I think about it, I would have to unlock this chunk, Groats Farm, and Lumbridge Castle. I don't know how... I mean, Growth Swarm would probably be an instant unlock, I'm pretty sure, but Lumbridge Castle? Actually, I'm not sure. This farming patch might make things difficult. Same here. Oh wait, there's there's no farming patch here. But yeah, there's probably a lot of content here. And yeah. Uh, and I think this is the last chunk. The Rocky Desert with literally nothing. So, yeah. I mean, there's 29 cactus. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway. Um, what I wanted to explain now is how I pick the tasks. So, if I go to my chunk rules right here, I use the original vanilla chunker rule set. And I it's served me pretty well so far. Because I know, for example... Let's say this chunk here, West Veldip Hills. Um, I unlocked this chunk when I had 15 fletching. But technically you can... Um, I think you need like 27 fletching to make oak shields or something. And... Well, yeah, it's true. Um, it doesn't... It's not listed in the vanilla chunker rules. And I'm not really too pressed about that either. Because I want to unlock more chunks than you know not and I think this is the part where I uh, talk about the 500 chunk total 500 total level chunk rule as well which is uh, something actually someone recommended to me uh, in the comment section when I got this chunk for the third time East Varrock Gate so he said something like if you get a chunk three times in total you should unlock it as like a root chunk. <laughs> I like that name. It's like setting your roots or something. That was that was pretty cool. But yeah, the idea is uh, if I get this chunk again, for example, I will unlock it. And this goes with like chunks that I have been to twice already. So for example, Cairn Isle as well. But um, the the main reason why is so like like let's take a uh, user for example as well. There are not many options here, so I'd rather unlock the chunks that are kind of monotonous so I can have more chunks that I've never gotten before or in general just have more options to work with. And I think the only limitation for this rule is for example gear upgrades. So let's take this Varrock Plus chunk that I just had. There are a lot of bosses here. No, actually two. Unless I can go through a tunnel, then it's three. Uh, there's a lot of uh, rune armor upgrades here. And I feel like... Uh, if I were to unlock that chunk, I would always go here anyway. So I will make that exception for gear upgrade chunks. Because uh, they will always be exciting anyway, so... I don't, I don't, I don't feel too pressed about that, but yeah, um, I think that's all I really have to say. Other than, yeah, uh, it's been a lot of fun so far, and I'm really hoping to, you know, unlock more of the map so I can uh, finally get to Mauritania. But I haven't gotten even close to here. I've started it in the palace chunk, but now I think I need the Paradomus Temple. And when I get this chunk, I'm pretty sure I just unlock it, which is great. So, yeah, that's going to be cool. Alright, anyway, this was a short recap video. Hope you're doing well, everyone, and I'll be back in a bit. Alright, take care, guys.
Bye-bye.